Hello, hi, I'm Shaliza from Malaysia. Uh, I'm studying a PhD at University of Waikato and my field of study is in pharmaceutical analysis. Okay, I'm focusing on the antioxidant activity in honeydew honey and that honeydew honey is originated from the soft island of New Zealand. So uh, our preliminary data have shown that this type of honey has exceptionally high activity in iron binding antioxidant activity and my PhD research is focusing on to isolate the compounds that are responsible for that activity. I always want to be a scientist and I see that PhD study is an opportunity for me to achieve that goal and later on in my life I want to be a professor and so starting my PhD research in honey so I can develop the honey research in Malaysia later on. Okay first of all because of my supervisor okay because I have a, a great supervisor from honey research unit which is a professor Peter Wallen and he is a really well-known honey researcher so I don't want to miss that opportunity to be his apprentice so I get a lot of knowledge when I do my research project under him and I study a lot of things with him about honey Okay, when I first take, first time came in Hamilton, I thought that Hamilton is such, like such just uh, the other normal New Zealand cities like Auckland or Wellington, which is very busy and so on. But it, I was surprised because it is like a homey uh, um, place, and everything is very short distance. So. For, to be a PhD student, you cannot spend much of your time outside the lab. You must uh, spend a lot of your time focusing doing research in the lab, and you cannot like traveling from your home and your university, like take a few buses to reach the office. So when in Hamilton, in University of Waikato, everything is short distance, and you save a lot of your times. In the term of studying, I would say that. All the acad academicians, most of the academicians in the faculty are very friendly, they are very helpful, they are supportive, okay, and as well as the support systems. Because do the PhD study, you must have a very good support system. For example, like librarians, because you are going to get the articles, so librarians will help you to find those articles. First of all, you must identify your future supervisors. Of course, I think some of them will be in the University of Waikato. And once you have it, just considering coming here because it is a, such a very great place and you can study and focus your research in here. They have a lots of facilities that University of Waikato can offer.